Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel, Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. This is the radio we're gonna be dealing with today. It's a 2011 Toyota Tacoma. It's the stock head unit, very dated for what it is. I mean, it basically does MP3s, that's about it. We're gonna be removing this and doing a Sony XAB AX5000, which, all right, we got this all installed. This is the radio we're going to be dealing with today. It's a 2011 Toyota Tacoma. It's the stock head unit. Very dated for what it is. I mean, it basically does MP3s. That's about it. We're going to be removing this and doing a Sony XAV AX5000, which is a much better head unit. Um, this particular model has the bass speakers and tweeters. Uh, I don't believe this has got the JBL or anything amplified in it. It's just a normal radio we're going to be replacing that out these are the three parts that we're going to be using which is the 70 1761 that's the wiring harness this is the dash kit which is a 95 82 14 tg which is the silver dash kit and then the axis steering wheel interface so these are the three parts that we're going to need to make this radio work in here on top of that we're obviously going to need the sony xavax 5000 as well this is the head unit we're gonna be using, which is the XAV AX5000 from Sony. Really awesome head unit, probably one of our best sellers. And that's what we're gonna be using in this today. Okay, the first step of what we're going to do is we're going to remove this piece. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our panel popper tool here and we're gonna pop it out and it's got four clips on the back. After we pull this piece out, there's 10 millimeters behind this that we're gonna have to take out. We've already got our drill ready for that. There's that pulled out. There's the four clips. And there's the two plugs that it takes right there. And here's the two plugs that it takes, that you unplug. And then inside of there, there's a 10 millimeter, two 10 millimeters on the top, 10 millimeter on each side. So that's what they look like. You need to remove those so that this whole piece will come out. Okay, now all those are removed. We're gonna go ahead and pull this out. And there's the radio out. Oops, I hit the hazard button. So there's the radio pulled out. And we're gonna take out the antenna. You have four harnesses on the back of this particular model. I'm not sure what all these harnesses do. And then you have one major harness that's part of the uh, lower bar down here. So basically there's one right here. So here is the back side. There's the plug there. Four plugs on the back and antenna. So that's what we're dealing with right there. And these are the plugs here that we're dealing with. So 
basically there's your four main plugs one two one two antenna and there's the bottom plug right there so that's everything we need these are eight millimeters so i'm going to go ahead and take these off so we can get these brackets off so we can get this piece out of here now we're going to take these screws out down here we're going to remove those they're on both sides so that that way we can get this bottom piece out we finally got this piece out my god so that's how it comes out on the sides so we took the screws out but this whole damn thing will not come out i don't know why it's a piece of crap so you have to finagle these side pieces to get these out so you have to take this whole piece out so don't worry about taking the screws out just stick screwdrivers down on each side and try to finagle it out it's absolutely horrible all right we took our black piece here and we got this installed and there's little pieces that it snaps into right there and it only goes in one way because the way that these things slide in so that piece is ready and we're going to bolt it with these screws onto this piece here all right we have the four screws in all that's put into there to where that piece is now assembled ready to go on the dash um, next step we're gonna put the four clips that go on here so that it snaps in all right we got all of our clips installed there's four of them and those actually come with the kit so you don't have to actually take the ones off the factory piece to do it so that's really nice now we're going to work on assembling these side pieces to the ax5000 so that we can get that mounted into the vehicle all right we got everything mounted here and you'll clip this little piece right here into this and it'll sit flush on this trim piece right here on the 5000 and then everything sits in there how it's supposed to accordingly and then looks really super clean and then it'll just mount into that kit and then we'll mount this into the actual vehicle. So you have your four mounting points where your 10 millimeters go. Here's our wiring harness wired up. This is the main harness. This is the rear speaker harness. And this is the Sony harness. If you don't know how to wire these up, I would suggest probably not doing it and taking it to a professional. Do not, if you can't wire up something this basic, do not try to do this because you will burn the car to the ground. So. All these colors match up. Red goes to red, yellow goes to yellow, black goes to black, green, purple, etc., etc. It's just matching up colors, crimp capping, or butt connecting, whichever you prefer. We still have to do the steering wheel controls, but I'm going to go ahead and talk to the customer and make sure that they still want to do the steering wheel controls. So this is the basic wiring. If you don't want steering wheel controls, if you do want steering wheel controls, we'll show you how to do that as well, as long as the customer says it's okay. Okay, this is the steering wheel module here. We're going to need our black and red. So basically, this is our ground, this is our ignition, we're going to tap those into the actual harness. And then over here, I just ran a ground from here and looped it up. You have to ground one pin, the next pin, and the next pin. So the only thing we're going to need is green with orange, black with green, and then a ground wire. So there's three wires on the harness that we have to tap into. I'll put that diagram up here. These three wires we're going to tap into the factory harness. These two I'm going to tap into the aftermarket harness and that will make the steering wheel controls work. I'll show you what it looks like after done. And then we plug this steering wheel headphone piece in here into the back of the Sony radio. Program it and it's all done. Okay, this is the harness that we need. And if you see there's one, two open slots and then one, two, three wires. That's six, seven, and eight. Those are the three wires that we're gonna need right there. So the one with the red on it, that's the one we're gonna ground. And then the other two in the diagram, you'll see that we're gonna uh, run the two other wires for the SWC onto that. So those are the three wires you need to tap right there. Basically six, seven, and then eight, and then you'll have two open slots behind that. So, And you want the connector to be this side. You don't wanna look at it from this side. You wanna look at it from this side. And that's pretty much it. So here's how everything goes. Your black with green stripe is gonna go to your pin eight. Your green with the orange is gonna go to your pin seven. And then you're gonna ground your pin six. So that's pretty much how it goes. So ground pin six, green with orange on pin seven, and then black with green on pin eight. That's pretty much it. And then you're just gonna plug in your standard harnesses. And that's it. 
we went ahead and ran the microphone up here, ran that all around, and then we put his USB there. That's number one. Number two will go in the glove box. And I think that's a really clean place to put it. We basically drilled it into the back there. This piece unsnaps out. So that way if it ever, he don't like it or he doesn't wanna have it there, we can just take that out and put a new one in and who cares? It's a couple bucks from Toyota. I don't drill into dashes. I don't drill into main dash. Because if you ever have to replace that, thousands of dollars. Don't ever do that. You, you wanna do a piece that pops out that's very inexpensive and cheap. And that's where we put his USB down here in this cubby hole. That way it's accessible and the panel, if he doesn't like it, he can actually just replace that little panel. It's not a big deal. We didn't put it into the dash and drill a big hole into his dash. Got everything installed looks really good I gotta say the kit does look really nice Metro did a pretty good job on this kit so really happy with the way it looks everything fits really nice and looks really nice so customers should be super happy with it and like I said we put his USB down here and then his other USBs in the glove box. Steering wheel controls work. Everything works just like it should. Thank <laughs> you.